soaked and fed microorganisms and left shelter for little eggs and seeds. It collected this dirt, not for human disdain, but with no intention at all, and yet essential it became, a staple to a world so small. We could learn something from the cups left outside, the moss-covered cans and mud-stained blowing litter that we kick aside. Thank you. God loves you too. So what will you write about? And it's built from trauma, a curse that carried on. See, a demon gave you a band-aid, but the Lord carried you along. Down a path to greatness made you. This addiction condition and ain't you. Now the angels that fail, they hate you. That's why they bring your past up daily. Cause they see where the Lord's taking you. And it's not where they are going. So they feed you with lies about your life, addicted to the world's advice. Vices that had you tangled, what God has mangled up twice. But you fell and got back up, and God calls that righteous. Just don't ever give up. I know being shameful is painful. I'm over here and I can feel it. But there's nothing stronger than God's love and the Holy Spirit. Addiction, condition. Have a great and amazing day and let the Holy Spirit carry you to your next, to your purpose. Amen. What, what's the website again? New Life Poetry Live. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, thank you, Larry Cleveland. Thank you all for being here. What a joy to read on the streets of Lakewood, uh, my hometown. My adopted hometown. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get going. This first poem is called Love Poem in the Unfortunate. There's too much news and not enough me. I'm not sure if there's enough of you either. It takes a million news to buy a loaf of bread, wheelbarrows of news. People line up for blocks to withdraw their news before it's too late. The sudden withdrawal of so much news has caused the industry to consolidate further and us too. There's really only two of us now. As the plane lands, you slowly loosen your grip on my whitened fingers. The attendant says, I'd like to be the first to welcome you to unprecedented times. Somewhere another plane has a hospital in its crosshairs. Somewhere a man is buying a gun. Somewhere a couple is trying not to think about it. A sign at the drive through says, due to the unfortunate, we are deeply out of onions. I'm tired of living through history, though I suppose it's better than dying through it. We say it every Passover and every generation and all that. Seems weird to turn the killing of us into killing whole cities, but what do I know? I don't even know how to love, not really. With that in mind, I have questions for you. Would you please pardon my dust? Good thing every day is demo day. I'm sure there are a million times you could have given up on me, but here you are. Now help me with this wheelbarrow, would you? My name is Danny Kane. I am thrilled to be here. Just happened to run into Latanya. Yes. Are you like right now? Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Make up. No, you're good. Oh, okay. This is my book. Let me get that in there. Now, what's the book about? Well, it's a book of poetry because I am a poet, if you didn't know it. Were you out there talking to I still was. your right? Yes. I mean, speaking. I yes. Think. I got a chance to share some of my poetry um, just now from this book and some that were going to my fifth book that I already have a title and idea of the cover. And so I think that that's gonna be one of my projects in 2025. So I've been doing poetry for about maybe 15, 20 years. And I started writing books during the pandemic. Now what's been, your, what's been your inspiration as far as the poetry? Happy, sad, happy, sad, inspirational, um, mad, all the emotions. What, and what, life. Made, what made you sad? Um, just think, different things that have happened to me in the past and different things that I see happening in the world. So um, a lot of things I feel like we all we're all living in the same world. We all see it, but not everybody speaks on it. So that's what I do with my poetry. So I like for my poetry to be a voice to the unseen and the unheard and the muted. And um, besides that, I also like to just express myself. Yeah. So.
Now, on a on a positive note, what made you happy? What made you write happy? Oh, everything poems? makes me happy. Um, being able to wake up and move my body without <laughs> any like assistance or devices, or not you know being confined to a, a, a hospital bed or anything like that. Just having life and living it to the fullest and everything that comes with it, meeting new people, running into folks, taking a selfie, taking it, doing an interview. <laughs> These are things that make me happy. And I'll bet you it's hot on that roof up there. a CD.
that good call come on home can't you see that a break ain't nothing nothing but a change of pace this one.
Everybody's talking at me and I can't hear a word to say
Thank you. That's a brand new one we just... So what do you guys represent? Uh, voiceless. Anonymous for the voiceless. Yeah. And what what uh, what do you stand for? What, what? Oh, hi. Hi. We're speaking out against injustice, against uh, the oppression of animals, because this is what we do to them in the meat, cheese, eggs, and dairy industry. And there's no reason to do this to them. They want to live just like we do. They want it. Yeah. They have feelings and emotions, and they your pigs are as smart as your three-year-old uh, child. So there's no reason for us to do this to them for something as trivial as a sandwich. So we're just trying to bring people to a vegan conclusion. When people consume these products, this is what they're paying for. So if you consume these products, this, this is the cruelty that you're contributing to. And they want to live just like we do. There's no reason for us to do this to them nowadays, but we have vegan options everywhere. place called Hope. I got real high. I was high on dope and I cried. Weary girls would like to cry. Sat down with Jim. He asked, have you been? Oh, you girl, you girl. Oh, you're a good some tears, I drank some beers, I drank some gin, and I drank something I can't recall, but I know the color was black, yeah, it was black as my heart, it was black as my soul, it was black as the night, I ran back into your arms, you've done nothing but good harm. Oh, baby, Hollywood's done nothing but good harm. And you know she fills weary girls, weary girls up with lies. Weary girls, they get their hopes high. Weary girls, weary girls. They fall in love, they fall in love, they fall, 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 they fall. church and went down to the bar I think I found God in the back seat of my car I have moved in mysterious ways yeah I danced with him tall and slim he had my soul moving oh that man he took me by surprise 
Señor, señor, Carlo avec le soda. Il est fonello, que me s'envoudre. Pour plaisir, pour plaisir, sont les copains. Il s'envoudre, je suis frère, la chose à tout le autre en la picata. Après mon père, il a la foule. Les spectateurs s'adèvent à trouver que Apostrophe qui n'est pas Je poursuis jusqu'aux infiers Car c'est la ville du courage C'est la ville du jour de guerre Allô, au garde, allô, allô Songez bien, oui, songez au combattant, qu'un œil noir te regarde, et que l'amour t'attend, t'aurait un d'or, l'amour, l'amour t'attend.
Fise. French composer Fise. And the next song I would like to sing for you, I think I will stick with summer. Uh, the same Spanish tradition uh, is a Sp Spanish popular song, Granada. or in your heart and close your eyes and just let the music take you. Thank you. Still and weighty are 
in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand a mountains. You raise me up to walk a stormy sea. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up. More than I can be.
Echo Garden. How did you come up with that name? It's an acronym for Meg. My name is Meg. Oh. But I didn't think of it. My friends did.
destroyed a hundred and sixty-five towns. The pressure that pushed the sound in every direction.